Hello all, welcome to Therm Science. In today's lecture, we will be covering about thermodynamic cycles. To understand an engineering term, it is the best practice to split the word and understand the underlying meaning. Thermo meaning heat. Dynamic meaning work. Thermodynamic is the process in which heat is converted to work and work is converted to heat. To understand cycle, let us get familiarized with two terms that are state and process. State is a condition of the system that has definite value for all its properties. In the graph given below, it can be seen that there are two states that are A and B. For state B, the pressure is 0.2 atmosphere for a given volume of 0.1 meter cube. Now, let us discuss about process. When one or more properties changes at a given time, change of state occurs. And this is called a process. It can also be seen from the graph that initially the system was at state A with 0.6 atmospheric pressure and undergoes an expansion process to B with 0.2 atmospheric pressure and 0.1 meter cube of volume. So the system has undergone a change from state A to state B and this is called process. Now let us understand cycle. When a system undergoes a series of processes and at the end, the initial and the final conditions will be same and this is said to be cycle and this cycle is repetitive in nature. So let us summarize thermodynamic cycles. The cycle that operates under thermodynamic principles are called thermodynamic cycles that is heat to work and work to heat. Thermodynamic cycles are majorly classified as two. First one is power cycle. The cycle which produces power as the output is called power cycle. Second one is refrigeration cycle. The cycle which produces refrigeration effect as the output is called refrigeration cycle. Power cycles are further classified as gas power cycle. The cycle in which the working medium is in gaseous phase throughout the cycle. Next one is vapor power cycle. In this cycle, the working medium will be in two phases that are liquid and vapor. Refrigeration cycles are further classified as gas refrigeration cycle. Here, the working medium will be in gaseous phase throughout the cycle. Next one is vapor refrigeration cycle. In this cycle, the refrigerant will be in two phases that are vapor and liquid. Further, gas power cycles are classified as auto cycle, diesel cycle, dual cycle, Brayton cycle, Atkinson cycle, Stirling cycle, Erickson cycle and Lenoir cycle. Vapor power cycle also called as Rankine cycle and to increase the efficiency of the Rankine cycle based on the application below cycles are adopted that are reheat Rankine cycle, regeneration Rankine cycle, combined Rankine cycle. Now gas refrigeration cycle it is also called as bell Coleman cycle or reverse Brayton cycle. Further classifications of gas refrigeration cycles are simple air refrigeration cycle, bootstrap air refrigeration cycle, regenerative air refrigeration cycle, reduced ambient system. Vapor refrigeration cycles are further classified as two. First one is vapor compression refrigeration cycle. There are four major components involved in this cycle that are compressor, condenser, evaporator and expansion valve. Based on the outlet of compressor and condenser, this cycle is further classified as wet vapor after compression, dry vapor after compression, subcooled liquid after condensing, saturated liquid after condensing. Compressor in vapor compression refrigeration cycle consumes more power. Because of this, vapor absorption refrigeration cycle is invented. In this, compressor is replaced by a regenerator. Regenerator requires some heat. And it may be given in the form of thermal, solar and electrical. Thank you.